Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. Today is Friday, and on Fridays I do my cover challenge. Um, I'm in my new comic room. <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty uh, not sorted out yet. I haven't really sorted out. I've actually cleared a lot of space, <laughs> but it's not sorted out yet. Um, I did try to put some comics in the background, so you get sort of a bit of comic wall. They're not mounted on the wall or anything. They're just on like uh, like display cases. But um, <laughs> with all that being said, um, let's get into this video. So today um, it's the comic challenge. And what I do with the comic Friday challenges is I, I try to get you to look through your collection, find some books that are kind of cool, like, you know, that fit the theme of the challenge. And this week's challenge is kind of a bit of a personal one in a way. This month, I'm actually turning 50. So, um, I'll be 50 years old, which is extremely old in my mind. <laughs> I used to think 20 was old. I can remember those days back, way back when. Um, now I'm 50. It's going to be crazy. So I'm turning 50 on the 29th. And um, the next couple of challenges will be related to my birthday. So um, this first challenge is to find 50, the issue 50s in your collection, cool covers that just happened to be the 50th issue in uh, whatever comic series it is that you choose. Um, this is actually a bit of a challenge because, you know, not many series actually run that long. So um, hopefully you can find uh, 10 comics that have, that are the 50th issue and that are kind of cool covers. Um, I'm going to show you what I found and the, the last few are actually really cool, but uh, the first few are a little bit... Not as great, but we'll show you. I'll show you. So the first one is Doom Patrol. And this is kind of an interesting one. It's got like a simple white, and then like all the art is just focused along this one little strip, which is kind of interesting. And you know, it's a yeah, kind of simple, but cool comic. Okay, so this is uh, Doom Patrol. This is when uh, Grant Morrison was on, <laughs> on, on Doom Patrol, so kind of cool. So that's, Doom Patrol number 50. <laughs> All of them are going to be number 50. So, and then we got, this is actually more cool. This is uh, Justice League number 50. And I, I always like these kind of covers where you got all the superheroes kind of like, I don't know, doing that action pose that they're charging into battle or whatever it is. And I just think this was good. And you got all, all the big DC uh, Justice League characters like Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and Flash, and Green Lantern. Just really great. And you even got Shazam <laughs> back there. Uh, kind of cool. So And Cyborg. Cyborg right there. So yeah, so kind of cool. And it is my birthday, so I got to have a little bit of some of the interesting comics that I enjoy. I always love Zombie Tramp. I always go on about it. It's kind of a joke comic in a weird way to me. Um, but I always, I think it's fun. It's, it's just a fun comic. So I had to add Zombie Tramp. And this is Zombie Tramp uh, number 50. Now there's actually multiple uh, different variants for issue 50. Um, but this is maybe the less, <laughs> the less risque one. Um, but yeah, still kind of sexy and fun. So this is... Uh, zombie Tramp number 50. And if anyone else shows uh, Zombie Tramp on their channel, I'll, I'll, you know, say extra thank you for that because, you know, it's my birthday and I like Zombie Tramp. Okay, <laughs> so um, last but not, no, no, last Raw comic um, is uh, Spider-Man. Um, this is a giant size 50th issue. And this is actually really cool because this obviously came out in the 90s. It's got that foil. I love the I love the foily eyes. You can see, and it's like um, who is it? I don't know who it is in the foil. It looks like Craven. Craven there. So yeah, so kind of cool, like a foily cover. I'm not sure if maybe you guys can see it better, but yeah, it's a foil. You can kind of see the two characters in the in Spider-Man's eyes. I really like this cover actually. Uh, so this is a Spider-Man 50. So kind of cool. And another kind of action-y um, DC comic, and again, another action-y kind of DC comic where you got the team kind of charging into battle is Swamp Thing 50. And this is like the, 
uh, Justice League Dark. So it's kind of funny that I had Justice League and now Justice League Dark. And you got all the Justice League Dark characters. And in some ways, I actually kind of like Justice League Dark more uh, because it is kind of that different take on, uh, you know, the typical traditional heroes. You got Swamp Thing, you got Phantom Stranger, Dead Man, and uh, uh, Dr. Fate, the Spectre. Who else is there? Oh, and uh, the Demon. Uh, so yeah, it's just really great, uh, you know, uh, you know, different take of superheroes. All the sort of Justice League dark characters. And another character that I had to have on the list because, you know, I, I love this character as well, is Wonder Woman. And this is Wonder Woman number 50 from the Golden Age. And just a really great uh, comic. Uh, this one is a signed copy, um, signed by Pat Kruger. <laughs> so some kid signed this copy uh, a long time ago. So I think it's funny that uh, I have an original Pat Kruger signature. Uh, so yeah. And it's actually funny because this has uh, got white pages, which is actually pretty cool for the Golden Age. So um, this is uh, Wonder Woman number 50. And now we're getting into ones that I really do think have great covers. Um, and some people don't like this next one, but I really do. And, you know, I know that there's a different version of it, which is in the Silver Surfer run, that people like more. But I actually like this one. This is Fantastic Four number 50. And it's just, a, I think it's just a great Silver Surfer cover. Even though I don't like, you know, you know, everyone always complains about this brown background, but I still, I still, somehow it just works, even though it's brown. <laughs> so um, this is uh, Fantastic Four number 50. And this is the first um, appearance of Johnny Goes to College. <laughs> That's one of those always silly things about it. And for, actually, it is first appearance of White Wing Foot. So, kind of cool. And our Wyatt, 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 actually, Wyatt, Wing Foot and Wing Foot. Okay, so uh, the next one is Amazing Spider-Man number 50. And this is probably, in one of my, in my opinion, one of the most iconic, um, you know, Spider-Man covers. I mean, it's just like he's, you know, giving up the suit. He's walking away. It's like, you know, just a really kind of iconic cover. Um, and it's just, uh, I always like this one. Class, it even says uh, classic cover, you know, a John Romita cover. It's a very cool cover. And of course, I have to have some good girl <laughs> on this uh, top 10 list. So we got um, Archie Comics number 50. And this is the great Betty uh, on the co couch cover. Just a really great uh, innuendo cover and just, you know, headlight cover, sweater cover, headlight, you know, I, did I mention headlight cover? <laughs> so it's just a great one. I just love this cover. So uh, yeah, this is probably one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best uh, Archie covers. I like her on the couch and it's just, there's something very classy about it. Um, so this is uh, Archie Comics number 50. And last but not least, um, and this one is probably considered one of the best X-Men covers, and it's X-Men number 50. Uh, just a really, really great cover. Um, this is, uh, again, uh, is it John Maria? I'm pretty sure. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm right when I'm saying it. Oh, what am I thinking? Stranko. Oh my goodness. I was like blanking on the guy's name. I was like <laughs> going through all the crazy names. Um, Stranko. Yeah, so one of the best X-Men covers in my opinion, if not the best. Um, just, a, just a great, uh, great cover. I, I always love this cover for some reason. So when I, I pick this up, purely for the cover. It is like the sort of full appearance of uh, Polaris. Um, and uh, it's also, um, I think her first full cover appearance as Polaris and stuff like that. But it's just, I think it's just a great cover. Uh, and I think that's why most people pick up this book because it is probably one of the best X-Men covers. And you can, you can tell me in the comments below 
if I'm totally out of whack by saying that, but I, I really do love this cover. Uh, so this is um, X-Men number 50, and you know, just a great, great Stranko cover. Okay, so that was my top 50 list. Um, let's see how you guys can do, see if you can find some cool uh, books that are the 50th issue. And um, I'll try to do something special on my birthday, maybe a, a, like a live video or something. Hopefully more of the comic room will be done by then. But um, I, I really do appreciate everyone watching these videos and I hope you enjoy this uh, Friday comic challenge. So if you wanna participate, all you have to do is make a little video showing 50 comics, uh, not 50 comics, 50 issue comics and use the hashtag uh, 50 comic covers and a hashtag Friday comic challenge. That's it. Okay, thanks again. Bye for now.